You want to know what it was like to be tortured at the Tower of London? Anne Askew not only survived, she wrote about it. So by the 1540s, we'd broken away from the church in Rome, but it was still very traditional, like we still called ourselves officially Catholic. Anne was strongly Protestant, what was then called a reformist. She memorised long passages from the Bible and would read them out at every opportunity, even when the law said women weren't allowed to. Her husband gets sick of her going on about God all the time and he kicks her out of the house, thinking, yes, she'll be sorry and come back humbled. Wrong! Anne is like, cool, guess we're divorced now. She never goes back. Anne goes to London and starts going by her maiden name again. While she's in London, she starts doing what's called gospeling, like standing on street corners, in churches, in taverns, and preaching to people. It sounds kind of annoying, but it was like a big thing back then, and she got famous doing it. But this fame attracted the attention of some powerful people at court who had traditional religious beliefs and didn't like Anne's reformism. She's put on trial for heresy, but under questioning, she basically shows up her accusers by having a better knowledge of the Bible than they do. They're like, uh, don't you know St. Paul says women aren't allowed to preach the word of God? She's like, no, 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 if you check, he only says women can't teach in the congregation. I've never spoken from the pulpit. But eventually she slips up and admits to having some heretical beliefs. She's sent to the tower, and this is where her questioners reveal what they're really after. It turns out they are enemies of the Queen, Catherine Parr, and they really want to prove that she has links to a dangerous heretic. When Anne says she doesn't know any of the Queen's ladies, they put her on the rack. The rack was the main torture instrument used at the tower, and it was like a machine that pulls your arms and legs apart until your joints break. This was a huge no-no. Torture was for people who wouldn't confess, not for people who were already condemned, and certainly not for gentlewomen like Anne. So the lieutenant of the tower was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And the two courtiers, Richard Rich and Thomas Risley, apparently turned the rack with their own hands. The lieutenant manages to get them to stop, but it's too late for Anne, who cannot walk for the rest of her life. She wrote an account of what happened and smuggled it out of the tower using a maid. We don't know that maid's name, but she must have been brave and determined. And Anne never betrays the Queen or any of her ladies. When she's burned a year later, she has to be carried to the stake on a chair because she can't walk. When she's offered a last-minute pardon, if she'll recant, she says, I came not hither to deny my lord and master, 